Over at 22nd and Harvard, there's a diner that's been doing business pretty much the same since the 1950s. Brownie's Hamburgers is a Tulsa landmark. It's nice to come here and find a place that really hasn't changed very much. It's down home. It's just the taste never changes like all those other restaurants. A man named Hiram Brown started Brownies in the 1950s as a root beer stand. In 1957, Bill Bowen took over the business. He kept the Brownies name and the root beer, but he added pie and hamburgers. 43 years after taking over Brownies, Bill Bowen still owns it. We've been here so long and everybody knows us, you know. Of course, I had had a hard time, you know, first. So I, you know, it's rough getting started. Onions fried in. Since the 1960s, Bill has gotten help running this place from his two nephews. R.D. works the grill, and Gary takes care of the counter. So, is there a secret to staying in business so long? You have to love your work, and you have to like people. <laughs> you have to be crazy. <laughs> this is my life. I've got to go keep it going another 43 more years. Maybe. I like to be out with the people. I, I clown around. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll get that for you. There you go. Well, they do like having fun here, but a diner can't survive this long if it doesn't have good food. Brownies is known for its burgers, its coleslaw, and its pie. Not necessarily in that order. They make the best coleslaw in the world. The little slaw is wonderful. I want to eat it with a spoon so I can get all the juice. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> if we're out of pies, they get upset. If we run out of coleslaw, they get irate. Today I had two double cheeseburgers, uh, an order of french fries, and two root beers. I would have gone for four double cheeseburgers, but I didn't have enough money, so <laughs> I just had to stick with just a three. And the root beer is outstanding. We eat breakfast here off of that, too. This is a health food spa. Yeah, it is for sure. Hamburger steak. Even though Tulsa has changed a lot since the 1950s, people seem to like the fact that brownies has stayed the same. Everybody here seems to know everybody's family and everybody's kids and the family ailments and that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a community spot.